Hey everyone, thanks for watching us today. Today I have a special guest, I'm super excited. Uh, his name is Jesse. Jesse is someone I contacted uh, completely randomly. I downloaded, downloaded his script and uh, I made one of the videos um, about locking the feet in Maya and it worked really well. So I'm super excited to invite Jesse to this uh, a uh, little show and um, yeah, Jesse, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, who who is Jesse? <laughs> sure, thanks for having me first. And uh, yeah, I'm Jesse. Uh, I started animation in 2014. Uh, yeah, I started my career in like, Korea, where I worked on like TV shows and uh, for kids. And then I switched to VFX. So I'm an animator and a previous artist. Right now, I'm at the island. Industrial Light and Magic, that's pretty impressive. Um, how did you end up uh, at that company? That's really cool. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, that was my first job in like previs, uh, yeah, in ILM. And uh, yeah, it was, I really wanted to try actually. And then I got that offer from ILM. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. This and, is amazing. Yeah, what the best company to do it. And you, you're enjoying working there? You're in, you're yeah. In, yeah, and you're in Canada, right? Yeah, I'm in Vancouver, you know. Wow, that's su super cool, man. All right, so yeah, so today we're gonna uh, take a look at another one of your scripts. And do you make these scripts yourself? Uh, yeah, I write them in Python, and uh, I have a background in computer science, so uh, it helped me to write some scripts. And uh, yeah, I write them to help myself first, and then I try to share them to help other people. Wow, man, that's super impressive. When I uh, tried your lock the feet, uh, it, sold, it, it totally uh, saved me because I was in the middle of a project and it was due in just a few hours and I was just battling with those feet sliding all over the place. And man, your script saved my life, so I'm so grateful. I'm really glad I said <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, cool. So yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. So here we are in my... All right. So I have like set up a quick scene. Uh, here with the character from Agora, we can maybe link all the rigs and yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll provide links. Things. Yep. So yeah, if, I don't know if the playback is gonna play well, but oh wow, he's on the really train. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a really quick scene with a guy on the train. On the train. <laughs> and then yeah, I'm gonna show you why this script is really useful that I used a lot in the uh, in the productions I worked on, and I still use like almost every day to this day now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's basically, uh, for example, you have this character and then you want to animate him. And then usually in 3D we animate like, you know, in the perspective view. But the problem is that he is on the train, right? So it's like if you scrub the timeline, he's going to he's gonna be like really far in, <laughs> in 3D yeah. space. Yeah. He's going to disappear in and out and then you're going to have to pull the camera every time you like tweak something. So it's really, really painful to do that. Uh, there's an option to like, if you, you could like, uh, I have a subway, uh, so the transfer, everything is uh, moving from the subway here. So I could like mute that, that would be an option. But sometimes in production, you don't always have that option where it's like uh, a geometry with transformation. Sometimes it's an alembic cache. So it's not something that you can always do. And it might be different on the camera as well. So you want to have a, a result of the camera all the time. So, so the script is pretty easy actually. You uh, basically select what you want. So uh, that you want uh, something that is uh, connected uh, to a camera. So this in this way, it will be the subway. The subway is moving through a space, so you want the camera to follow the subway. So you select it, and the camera script is this icon right here. So you click it. And then you can see here, the camera changed actually on the viewport. So, and then now you can slide, and you can see that the camera, this camera, which, is, which was the perspective view before, is now the job camera one. And then you can see that it's following the character right now. Oh wow, and, and it retained the animation too, right? Yes, oh, everything wow. is in it. So like, if you want to um, see in the outliner what it does actually, it's pretty simple. 
you create a, a group and you constrain this group to a subway and then in the right group is a camera. So you still can like move the camera like a perspective view and you can like animate from here. Pretty easy. No. This is gonna follow. And here you can see that there is like uh, this was my this camera on the left side and this was my perspective camera and the script created a new camera called Job Camera 1. That's really cool. So this is amazing for like a cinematic uh, shots, maybe for game trailers or whatever. Uh, yeah, know. for everything in VFX as well. We do this would this also and, export out into like a game engine if like Unreal or Unity, do you know if the camera um, could, you know, would that work as well? Or maybe you would have to bake it, bake the uh, transformation into the camera. I mean, usually if you're going to transfer the camera, the shot camera is still the same. It doesn't move. Yeah. So you're going to export this camera on the left. So yeah, it shouldn't be problems. And we often use this as well for uh, doing facial. So this one. Yeah, the head controller, for example, if uh, I don't know if you saw that in certain rig, uh, rig you have like some uh, face camera where it's like connected to a face so you can really go into the facial. So it goes the same on so when you select the uh, head camera, uh, the head controller and then you click on the camera, con camera script here and then it's going to follow the head so you can really go deep into the details of the facial. That shot already looks pretty epic, him, <laughs> him uh, sitting on top of the train. Uh, <laughs> it's it, like only just one pose. Yeah, style. it's not even rendered <laughs> and it's the way, you, the way you're doing it on the train with that pose, it looks amazing already, you know, just that looks so cool. Yeah, I, I did some quick, quick animation on the hair as well, so wow. that, that's the wind feeling as well. We also use that, um, uh, yeah, just one more thing. Uh, we often use that as well for the contacts. It's really useful uh, for fit contact, for example, um, because in perspective view, it's going to be like really hard to like follow whatever you scrub. But like with that script, uh, so it's the same. You select the controller and then the script camera, and then you can see that you can follow the the fit and you can like every time you're gonna move it in space now uh, you're gonna be able to see like if for example it's connected to the ground over time when you have like footsteps and everything. Mm. Oh I'm gonna be try I'm gonna try to use this in, like a short so this is great. Wow. <laughs> I love yeah, it. For sure. Very cool. Um wow thank you so much for uh taking the time and demoing this. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we can do more of these in the future because I know you have a few scripts and I'll include a link to your free scripts and I know there's some more advanced paid ones and I know you're going to be adding more as well. So I'll include that and uh, Jesse, thank you so much for joining us today. If uh, anyone has any specific questions or maybe they want to follow you in some on social media, what would be the best uh, place to do that? Uh, for sure, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm on Twitter as well, so you can find my with my name Jesse Ongfo. Uh, and yeah, I have a Gumroad where you can download my script. As you said, like most of them are free because I just want to. It's something I do on the side, you know. Um, yeah, help the little guy. Help, help the little <laughs> guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do them like first to to help myself on my work because I know like, there's a lot of like technical things you know that you do daily. Yeah. And it's really long and I'm just trying to optimize this uh, to make my life easier. <laughs> and then, yeah, I share it. So, so I'm glad that uh, to hear that uh, it was helpful to you and thank you for reaching out. Yeah, thanks, Jesse. And you have a YouTube channel as well. So I'll, prov I'll link uh, all of this, all of your information in the description. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for joining and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.